Okay. Now, let's go to 1 Corinthians, the 14th chapter. I always have to get this in this lesson. Because, like, like I said, a lot of times people come and they want to, you know, say they speak Hebrew, this, that, and the other. Or they speak Aramaic, or they speak Greek, or they speak all these different languages. <coughs> I mean, it ain't like we can't get into it. We can't. But let's just deal with the word straight. Right. Let's just deal with the word of God. And then if you want to go do some research and find out it's a word in the Bible that don't mean what it means. Then we need to talk. Because the in my Bible means the in Hebrew. Mm -hmm. Just that simple. Okay. Now, 1 Corinthians 14. And we're going to pick it up at verse 1. 1 Corinthians 14 and verse 1. Go ahead. Follow after charity and desire spiritual gifts, but rather that ye may prophesy. So now, because you got a lot of people... They, 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 they want spiritual gifts or they want to play like they speaking in tongues and the Lord guiding them somewhere. But the Lord say, just seek the word. Just seek the prophecy that's in this book. And don't worry about no spiritual gifts. Get some understanding first. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not to men, uh -huh. but unto God. So now if you speak in an unknown tongue, then you making statements not to me or not to anybody in this congregation, not to anybody in front of you, you speaking to God. So you better make sure you understand what you're saying because the Lord hid. Book tell you you're going to be responsible for every word that come out your mouth. So don't be babbling. Because that's what we're going to find out what you're doing if you're speaking an unknown tongue and man don't understand it. You better make sure God do. Okay, go ahead. For no man understandeth him. Mm -hmm. Howbeit in the spirit he speaketh mysteries. Go ahead. But he that prophesied speaketh unto men to edification. So now I'm going to prophesy to you by edifying to you some words that you can understand in your language. Yeah. Even though we can go through all these translations, I'm going to teach you how to get the salvation that the Savior can give you when he comes. Nothing else. And I'm going to give it to you in a language that's easy to be understood. Why is it easy? Because it's the language of the land you was born in. Plain and simple. Okay, go ahead. End of three. Uh-huh. An exhortation and comfort. Uh-huh. He that speaketh in an unknown tongue edifieth himself. Uh -huh. But he that prophe prophesieth edifieth the church. So now, you speak in an unknown tongue, you ain't doing nothing but teaching yourself. But if you speak in a language that the congregation can understand, then you edify the church. Mm -hmm. Speaking an unknown language, <laughs> we're going to find out. The Lord say, you just, just shut up. Don't even open your mouth. Plain and simple. Okay, go ahead. Verse 5. Uh -huh. I would that ye all spake with tongues, uh -huh. but rather that ye prophesied. So he said, I would that ye all spake with tongues, but I'd rather you prophesy in the tongue to the people, the language they understand. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. For greater is he that prophesied than he that speaketh with tongues, uh -huh. except he interpret, that the church may receive edifying. So now if you're going to come in with a different language, you better have an interpreter. You don't have an interpreter, shut your mouth. Because you're speaking in an unknown tongue, you're not edifying nobody. You just, like Paul said, you're just a whitey wall. Ain't doing nothing but blowing air and make people think you know some big swelling words and you've been studying at this Hebrew universe. Don't work like that. You're going to look like a barbarian and we're going to find out that's what it is because you look like you're crazy. Because I tell you, I always tell people the same story. Uh, Brian took us into a church. I'm talking about Brian right here. <laughs> Took us into a church. As soon as they opened up, this, this preacher walked in and he said, stand up for the anointing. And all these people got up and they just started babbling. <laughs> and me and Calvin was there with him and we both, me and Calvin, looking at him. <laughs> because we said, what you done got us into, man? And these people stood up and they just all started speaking words that nobody could understand. But the preacher got them thinking they got the you know, spiritual gifts. But like I say, we're going to find out. Just exactly how me and Calvin and I believe Brian felt that same day. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, skip down to verse 9. Go ahead. So likewise ye, except ye utter by the tongue words easy to be understood, uh -huh. how shall it be known what is spoken? Uh -huh. For ye shall speak into the air. And that's all you is blowing air. Because if can't nobody understand you, you just blowing air. Okay, go ahead. There are, it may be, so many kinds of voices in the world, uh -huh. and none of them is not is without signification. So now, it's a lot of voices. There's a lot of distinct languages. That's what we read in Psalms 19, that there's nowhere under the heavens where the Lord's word is not being spoken, not being taught. Believe me, you can't get around this if you can read this book. If you can <laughs> read language, 
You can read the name of Jesus or the name of whatever God you want to call, but don't get around what the book say. Mm -hmm. That's the main point you got to do is get understanding. Then you can call any name you want. And we took some off the board, but you pick and one. But when you pick either one, do not use that name in vain. That's all he's telling mm -hmm. you. Plain and simple. Okay, go ahead. Verse 11. Uh-huh. Therefore, if I know not the meaning of the voice, I should be unto him that speaketh a barbarian. Uh-huh. And he that speaketh should be a barbarian unto me. So now I'm going to look at you like a barbarian. You come to me talking all these different words. Believe me. Because you say, my Lord's name is, uh, you know, Messiah. Say, okay, I understand Messiah. But if you come with some name, and I mean, this name take you 15 minutes to quote. <laughs> then I don't know that name. You are a barbarian unto me. And I'm a barbarian unto you because you can't teach me, and I can't learn nothing from you. Plain and simple. You ain't nothing but a barbarian. And like I say, there's a lot of people, a lot of barbarians out here. Mm -hmm. Walk up to people and start teaching them. But we read earlier that the Lord warned us. You know, watch out for those that's going to come saying he is Christ. Saying he is the Lord. Saying he is the one. And what name do most of the world go after? Jesus. They go after Jesus. So he said, that's the one you need to watch out for. Because they're going to come in his name to deceive people. Okay. Go ahead. Verse 12. Uh-huh. Even so ye, for as much as ye are zealous for spiritual gifts, uh -huh. seek that ye may excel to the edifying of the church. So now, stop speaking in tongues. And just teach the people the word of God. Whatever language you speak, that's the language you teach them in. And hopefully your congregation understand you. But if they don't, you got to get an interpreter. Just that simple. Okay, go ahead. Wherefore, let him that speaketh in an unknown tongue pray that he may interpret. So now, because if you speak in an unknown tongue, pray that you can learn how to understand what they're saying. Because if you're stuck in a situation and you know you need to understand what's going on, pray that you get some understanding. Don't look for no one or two words. Look for multiple words that you can understand. Because mm -hmm. you can't say amen to something that you don't know what they're saying amen to. You, that means you agree with it. But if you say amen, you say, okay, I, I agree with what you say. Okay. Now, skip down to verse 16. Go ahead. Else when thou shalt bless with the spirit, how shall he that occupied the room of the unlearned say amen uh -huh. at thy giving of thanks? Uh -huh. Seeing he understandeth not what thou sayest. So now, if we would have been in this place where Brian took us, and we jumped up and said, amen. We would have known and said, okay, we got three new bodies. We're going to sacrifice them in the middle of the service. <laughs> and we jump up and say, amen, not knowing what they're saying. They say, okay, we agree. But you make sure you understand what they're saying before you become a sacrifice. <laughs> right. Make sure you understand because you're not only going to be sacrificed to death, you may be sacrificed into some paganism. Because they're using his name in pagan, in, in pagan churches. Mm -hmm. They're using his name, making people think they're so high and holy, but they, they use his name. That's why the Lord say, beware of them because they seek to deceive you. Using his name. Okay, go ahead. 17. Uh-huh. For thou verily givest thanks well, uh -huh. but the other is not edified. Go ahead. I thank my God. I speak with tongues more than ye all. Because we can show you in the book that Paul spoke many languages. Because that's who's talking here. Paul spoke several languages. I, we know he spoke, spoke uh, Hebrew. We know he spoke Greek. And we know he spoke uh, uh, what, what, uh, Italian, or because he's a citizen of Rome. Mm -hmm. Plain and simple. Okay, go ahead. Yet in the church, I had rather speak five words with my understanding, uh -huh. that by my voice I might teach others also, than ten thousand words in an unknown tongue. So he said, I'd rather speak five words saying you going to the lake of fire, than to speak ten thousand words and you ain't hear a word I said. Hmm. So that's why he say he'd rather make sure you understand how not to get into the lake of fire than for me to sit here all day and talk to you and then you just amen into death and don't understand nothing that's being said to you. No prophecy, no edification, just emotions. Mm -hmm. A lot of zeal, but not according to knowledge. That's right. That's all he's telling you to pay attention to. Okay, 